Well, coffee trend adding an extra boost to your morning cup of joe. Profi, that's the name of it. Profi combines a protein shake and a coffee brew. But health experts say they're concerned about this. Protein is essential for fueling the body, but in reality, Americans are already consuming double their recommended daily allowance of protein. It's not just the protein. Over the past year, many of us have been taking extra vitamins, right? We're trying to boost up our immunity, so we've added C and D to our diet. But how do you know if you're taking too much or if you even need these vitamins at all? And joining us right now to break it all down is our good friend and registered dietitian and nutritionist, the diet diva herself, Tara Collingwood. Hi, Tara. How are you? are you? Good morning, Amy. I'm so good. How are you? I'm good, thanks. So even before the pandemic, right, we were paranoid about vitamins and did I take the right even during flu season or cold season? We're always worried about boosting our immune system and how do we know which supplements to take? This is really complicated subject for a lot of people. It can be, absolutely. And I just want to put it out there that vitamins cannot replace a healthy diet, says the dietitian. <laughs> <laughs> simply, simply taking that vitamin pill is not the instant fix for feeling run down or just feeling that lack of energy. It's a combination of what we're doing in the food that gives us that range of compounds that actually gives us the protection. But, you know, when vitamins are consumed, they might help us to get a little bit of extra edge and fill in some of the, you know, some of the holes that might be in our diet. And especially if you're on a reduced calorie diet, if you're on a weight loss diet, or if you have some health conditions that inhibit absorption of certain nutrients, then you may need supplements. But that doesn't mean that healthy people can't also benefit from, you know, taking some additional nutrients as well. But how do you know when you're taking too much? I think the protein one is a good example, right? Because if you're taking too much protein, you can actually do damage to your body. You can have kidney problems. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah. you know, when we're taking when we're taking these vitamins and, you know, like you said, protein, it can happen in larger doses than we, you know, will take just in your normal diet. So you do have to be careful, especially fat soluble vitamins like A, D, E, and K. Those can build up in the body and over a long period of time can result in some negative health effects. But even these water soluble vitamins, you know, you mentioned the vitamin C. Large doses of vitamin C can cause nausea and headaches, fatigue, kidney stones, diarrhea. So, you know, what we recommend is that you try to follow that recommended dietary intake, the RDI, as much as possible. Maybe take a little bit above that, but just because some is good doesn't mean more is necessarily going to be better. So how do you know if you're taking too much? Are there signs? I always remember that the one that people say half the time when you take a vitamin, you go to the bathroom and, and you literally are peeing it out, right? Yeah, well, if you have bright, bright, bright yellow urine, that usually can be from some of those B vitamins. So yes, your body will expel a lot of the, the extra, um, but, but we don't necessarily build up a resistance. So it's not like, oh, if I have some, you know, like an antibiotic or something, if I have some, then I have to, you know, keep taking more and more and more. It doesn't happen that way. Your body will get rid of that excess. But like I said, you know, small amounts are good for you, but that doesn't mean that we need more and more and more and taking these mega doses is not going to necessarily be good, especially in the long run with nerve damage and different thing that, things that can happen. So definitely check with your physician, your registered dietitian, and you know see what kind of vitamins and fish oil and those kinds of things might be beneficial. And then when can it cross over into potentially harmful? And, and Tara, it, it, what about just taking the good old multivitamin, right? That's sort of how we were yeah. trained. We grow up as kids. We take the Flintstone. Everybody's happy. Now, you know, there's a gazillion choices. Are you better off? to do them separately like that? Yeah, a multivitamin is great, and you don't need to worry about overdosing on, on multivitamins. I encourage people to take extra vitamin D. Even here in the Sunshine State, we need some extra vitamin D. I encourage fish oil, good for our brain, good for our heart. So those are kind of my, and a probiotic is good for our gut, because a lot of our immune system and a lot of things are connected to our gut, our, our GI tract. So those are kind of my quick and dirty must take if you're going to take something and then you can get into you know different health effects and different things that you might need um, additional single ones for but definitely that multivitamin fish oil vitamin d probiotic good to go all right you're the you're the best and just call tara if you're still confused after all of this <laughs> <laughs> absolutely <laughs> she is the diet diva always good to talk to you tara collingwood thank you Thanks, Amy. Good to see you. All right, let's check in right now with meteorologist Kristen Gianna.